Let's talk about measures of dispersion. I'm going to make up some numbers. So let's see, I got 45, 12, 5, 11, uh, 38, uh, 51, 47, 12. Now if I come down here and uh, I want to look at sample standard deviation. And again, you can type anything there. I'm just putting a kind of a descriptive. Now you can start typing the formula, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, you can also use some of the menus up here um, to, to help you find uh, different items. Uh, I'm going to start just type it, because I think that's the easiest. Equals S, T, and then you notice there's standard deviation. Now standard deviation P is a population standard deviation, which we'll talk about here shortly. But this is sample standard deviation. So I choose it. It'll ask me for what? I'll say A1 colon A8, because that's where my numbers are. Has to follow the exact uh, form there. Equals STD EV, beginning parentheses, closing parentheses, and then your range is in the middle there. And I press enter. And that gives us our sample standard deviation. Now sample uh, variance. I do an equals and probably var if i had to guess yeah so those variants it just says variance that's your sample and then i'll click that and i'll type in uh, let's try it again uh type here a1 colon a8 and again it has to be exactly like you see it there equals var beginning parentheses closing parentheses a1 through a8 now that's s and s squared in terms of statistics now here I'm going to have a population standard deviation, and I'll come over to cell B8, I'll do an equals, and start typing ST, and then I'll choose this ST dev P for standard deviation of the entire population. Then I'll type in A1 colon A8, closing parentheses. Again, has to follow that same form. And then I'll have population variance. And I'll do equals var and choose the var p. I don't know what some of these are. <laughs> um, so var p. And I'll do a1 colon a8. Closing parentheses. Okay. So at this uh, point in time we have those four there. There's another way you can do this. If I go up to, um, where's my menus at? Um, that's interesting. There. Somehow I, um, I collapsed them. So I guess you can come over here and click this uh, up and it collapses it. But if I click this down here, then I want add-ons, Excel Miner, my mouse is not working quite right. Every time, sometimes when I click it, it clicks twice. And then we want to choose uh, Start. Come over here. There's um, lots of different options. We're going to Descriptive Statistics. For the input range, if I click here, and I'm going to highlight that because it refers to whatever I have selected. Um, so, for example, if I have a left mouse click and hold down and drag it down here, if I come over here, see how it puts A1 to A8? It's probably just as easy to type this in. Uh, A1 is our starting cell, colon A8, which is our ending cell. Now our output range, this is where we want to put it at. So if I want to put it at F1, then I click here and I can type, after I backspace, I'll type F1. Now summary statistics is an important one, so we'll leave that uh, selected. You can unselect these if you want, but might as well leave them. And click OK. And you see it gives us um, standard deviation here, which happens to be our sample standard deviation. Gives us our sample variance, which matches this over here. Notice it does not give you the population. So if you want the population standard deviation and population variance, then you have to type in the formula like that. Or you can even do an insert function and choose statistical 
And then you can come here and you can uh, freely uh, browse between them and choose which one's appropriate. So you come here and choose the standard deviation of entire population. When you do that, it pops up that same thing as if you'd uh, start typing it and then clicked it. And then you could type in your A1 colon A8. If I pressed enter here, I'm guessing it'd give us an error because that extra set of parentheses at the end. It looks like your formula is missing one or more parentheses. Yeah, I knew it would. So let me press delete. And so again, it's picky on that. But that's uh, measures of our dispersion.